Finally, class is over for today. I know, school's such a pain, but at least I get to spend the whole day with you. Yeah, <laughs> what are the odds we'd have the exact same classes? Oh, come on. You make it sound like I'm stalking you. It's not like I changed my schedule to match yours. How would I have even known about it? I could have hacked into the school's database? <laughs> As if. You know I'm terrible with computers. I can barely use Twitter. Why do you think you're the only person I'm following? Anyway, you don't have plans tonight, right? Is it okay if I come over? Well, there's something I want to talk to you about, without any interruptions. I'll tell you when we get there, okay? Can I just put my bag here? Thanks. Huh? Your room? It looks like it did yesterday. I mean, uh, oh, you moved your furniture around. Yeah, you did that last week, right? Oh, that was just a guess. How would I know when you did that? It's not like I was here. Why'd you redecorate? New mindset for the new school year. Well, it's definitely been showing. What do I mean? How do I put this? You've been getting a lot more attention lately. Did you notice that? Usually, and I say this as a compliment, you're kind of quiet and blend into the crowd. But today, you were really, really noticeable. Come on, it's been happening since this morning when that girl ran up to you. Nancy, right, whatever. What are the odds that on the first day of school, you'd run into your childhood friend who moved back to town after years of being away? You're really sure you knew her in kindergarten? She could have been lying. Okay, fine, she had that picture of you two as kids in her locket, but how did she even recognize you? And who keeps a locket with a picture of their childhood friend on them at all times? That's weird. Fine, she's sentimental, but stuff like that just kept happening. Alright then, what about in gym class? You got put on the same dodgeball team as the school track star, and when she was about to get hit, you jumped in front of her. What was up with that? You knew she'd have a better chance of winning than you. Okay, but she winked at you after the game was over, so I think she took it differently. Or maybe she just took advantage of you. I mean, who acts that flirty with a classmate they don't know? What? I'm not upset that the teacher put us on different teams. I'm furious. I just... I didn't want to have to throw stuff at you. I'm being a good girlfriend. Yeah, you know, I'm a girl and I'm your friend. Girlfriend. But, but that's not all that happened. At lunch, Erica, the most popular girl in school, decided to sit at our table. Why would she do that? She has friends. Maybe she wanted to talk to me. Yeah, right, she was totally eyeing you. I mean, eyeing you in a way that says she's gonna spread rumors about you. She seems like the type to do that. Why else would she want to sit with us other than to make fun of us later? Last year, she didn't even know you existed, and now she's all in your face saying you're cute? Has to be a trap. And it didn't even end there. In English class, you got paired up with that girl? Lily, okay, sure. And she was super annoyed with you for no reason, but as soon as you complimented her work, she started acting all embarrassed and weird. What a freak, right? Like, who behaves like that? How did I know about that? I was sitting right near you guys. I couldn't help but overhear you. Anyway, she sounds totally emotionally unstable. You should stay away from her. <sighs> you really didn't think it was that strange? All these girls suddenly wanting to talk to you? And you being weirdly clumsy? I mean, you dropped all your homework when Nancy showed up, and the only reason you didn't fall on top of Erica when we left the cafeteria was because I caught you. 
Sounds like a bad harem anime? What? A harem? <laughs> no way, you'd never... Wait. Um, so, those girls, if you liked one of them, would you ask her out? You'd be too nervous to do it. Yeah, I figured. But if one of them asked you out, you'd probably say yes, right? You wouldn't be able to reject someone. <sighs> yeah, that's... that's so... you. I mean, you're sweet and kind to a fault. How could someone not fall for you? I should have seen this coming. Have to stop this before it gets too far. Will you go out with- Nancy? What are you doing here? Of course, you came to visit and their mom let you in. No, I don't have a problem with her joining us. If you really are childhood friends. And as long as I'm here. What was I gonna say? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I'll tell you later. Without her around. <sighs> Looks like I've got a long fight ahead of me. I know it says part one, but I'm gonna finish it, I swear.